So I have a shit ton of anime on my plan to watch section on my anime list. By the way, link in the description for my model profile if you wanna try, you know, check it out. I you know I haven't seen much, but like, uh, shut the fuck up. I'm slow, like, okay? So in that list, I saw that I had an anime called Gamers, and I've seen it a bunch of times when I was like looking for an anime, but I just never went for it. But this time I thought I'd give it a watch, because I had spent watching like Psycho Pass and Banana Fish before this, and I needed something more lighthearted in that sense, I guess, than seeing some motherfuckers get annihilated. So I gave it a watch, and honestly, it wasn't what I expected. Okay, I had literally no expectations, like I, I did not know what the fuck it was going to be since I had never heard about it. Before, I think I just randomly added it into my list. I just saw it, it looked cool, and I was just like, fuck it, I'll just add it. So within five minutes, I found out it's a high school anime. Like, I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, there's a whole ass section just for high school animes in Mal. But I don't know, why the fuck am I complaining? I really like high school animes. It makes me feel all hella nostalgic and makes me realize how much of a bitch ass I was while I was there. But no need to talk about that. <laughs> So we get introduced to the main character of the anime and his name is Amano Akita and basically your average gamer in high school which the formula is uh, no friends plus games plus no social skills equals your typical gamer or in this case Amano Akita. It shows how much love he has for playing games and not like just playing your one specific game or specific genre. He's adventurous he, with his shit like unlike me I like sticking to one thing and one thing only and that is Roblox. So he plays literally anything and everything, and then he ends up becoming best buddies with our second male lead of the anime. Well, more supporting character, if you could say. And that is Oiharu Tasuke. But, I mean, the first interaction is made out of pity, but the guy ends up understanding how Kate is because somehow they just become friends, though. Like, I really don't understand how, but, you know... That's like just bros, okay? Well, a little before that, we actually got introduced to the first lead female character of the anime, and that's Tendo Karen. She's basically the most popular girl in school, and every man-child simp is basically drooling over her. I mean, even random people on the streets stare at her constantly. Which, by the way, I don't get, like, it's not just this anime. I've seen this in, even in Rent-A-Girlfriend, where the male protagonist, who is a no-one, and is with a girl who's out of their league, just has random-ass people just constantly staring at them, like, whenever they're together. Like, is this Cap? I don't know. Because either I'm a fucking idiot, or I just don't know, or it's a bit of both, who knows? So back to Tendo, she's just your overall popular and very good looking female girl character. But underneath all that, she's a gamer! Oh my fucking god, a gamer girl? What? They exist? Well, I mean, if you just go on Twitch and you'll see a shit ton of them, it's nothing new now. But I do somehow get surprised here and there whenever I hear a girl actually playing games, like, and not your fucking Sims. Sims doesn't fucking count. So Tendo is also the president of this game club, which when she finds out that Keita plays games on a constant base, she invites him. But this motherfucker had the audacity to reject her offer and constantly rejects it. And she's the one who would actually reject people left and right. I'm pretty sure she rejects the bus driver's have a nice day comment when she leaves the bus. Okay, I'm pretty sure she doesn't do that, but uh, still. But the whole idea of the club is a bad idea for Keita because he plays games to enjoy them, whereas the club play it for a competitive reason to win trophies and shit like that. And honestly, which is what I thought the whole show was going to be, just this club, once I start watching it, but it's not all that at all. It's completely different. It's more of your typical high school romance anime, but with a touch of gaming added to it, which I'm not going to lie, it's actually kind of nice. Like if you're looking for a romance slash slice of life anime, that is a bit of a difference from the rest, like, this is a good watch, I'd say. But there's two other characters who are left, and one of them is Hoshimori Chiaki, who's also a gamer just like Keita, who plays games just to enjoy them, and actually becomes really good friends with them on their first interaction, but ends up hating him because they disagree about a game, and that's like, not even like the whole game, it's just this one specific thing, and then out of nowhere she falls in love with him, and just because he is the same person who she's been playing games with under an alias, like, what? How the fuck does this woman have the capabilities of changing her mind that fucking quickly? Also, did I forget to mention that Tendo also falls in love with him? Somehow, like, the way she falls in love with him is a mystery in my head, because I'm pretty sure they say why, but it's such a forgettable why that I just forget it. Did you get that? So basically what ends up happening is that this is your ordinary love triangle between Keita, Tendo, and Chiaki, but doesn't go over too much, like they do, but more so towards the end of the show. 
or well, the season if they are gonna make another one but i think they might not then we have this last character and this this fucking clefairy headass of a character her name is aguri like the fuck that's just it that's her name aguri did the writer just kind of forget to give her a fucking last name like i'm so confused who just gives her character pink ass fucking hair and names it just Aguri. But I can't blame them since she's a pretty disposable character. Like, she, she's a nice ad- addition to the anime, but she could also do without being there. But honestly, overall, I'd say she's a nice addition. I wouldn't take it any other way. Overall, this anime is a lot better than I thought it would be from the first episode. And it really does do a good job of your ordinary gamer like thing to show it. And just kind of gets the essence of it pretty well. Which is what made me like it a lot because I do recommend going and checking it out. It's only got 12 episodes and it's a quick watch and I think you guys would enjoy it. Well, I guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like, subscribe and turn on your notifications. I right, peace.